What's going on, hot guys? We are here at one of our commercial properties on a Sunday, something we don't hardly ever do. We're working on a Sunday today, and we are uh, we started uh, putting down 60 bales of pine straw yesterday around one o'clock. The rain got us, so we had to start. We started off. We started late, and we trimmed everything, and we came back to finish everything off. And uh, cut the yard as well. Let me show you what we got here. So this is what we got. We laid down all the pond straw, as you can see, and all these flower beds around, along the building. Trimmed everything up, and we cut the yard today. We're wrapping it up. We're blowing everything off. Uh, so we got a four-man crew today. So we got uh, our primo. He's over there blowing off. Uh, got my nephew, I call him Nerfew, and my brother, he's somewhere around there, and myself. So we got all this wrapped up, we got it done, and uh, got it back looking good. We do got to come back uh, tomorrow, well tomorrow, I think we're taking off tomorrow, we're coming back Tuesday to put pine, I mean sorry, to put mulch around all the trees, so all these trees, we're going to put mulch, black mulch down, you know, and all the crepe myrtles. These crepe myrtles, they are looking beautiful. So we just took over this property uh, in, in the end of last year. And the previous uh, lawn company, com a landscape company was cutting them right here. And uh, so, I mean, they were just, you could tell they started to build these knots as he was cutting them there every year. And uh, we got with the property manager and we just convinced them to, they needed to be raised up. And as you can see, they are looking really good. And they are all on the side of this lawn right here. You can see they're all down there, and they are all looking really good. This live oak, we trimmed a few limbs that were hanging. That way, whenever we run through with the mower, we don't hit ourselves. There's my brother over there in the Ferris. He's doing a little touch up on a few spots. And we got the Ferris 52 today, and we got the Snapper 61. So these are our two mowers that we use today. And, uh, as you can see, he's wrapping it up. But yeah, man, this this is a this is a pretty big pretty big property here. It goes all the way down over there to the end of the street. And we got everything looking good. We do got to come back and trim this pampa grass. We might wait till the fall. They gotten a little out of control, and we're thinking we're gonna wait till the fall and uh, cut them about cut them back about halfway. Check out that crate right there. Look how good that looks. And you can tell the knots when well, he was cutting them. He was cutting them around right here every year. And uh, they are looking really good right now. 